K-I-L-R Killer game Oh, so, um, here, um, let me show you something. I've been digging through, actually, I think I, did I have it? Yeah, I think I, I think I uploaded it, um, over on Twitter, um, I found my very first motherboard that I built uh, when I first built a PC, I found, I found my motherboard. There's a lot of pieces I didn't get rid of. Um, and so back here, I've got all these, uh, old motherboards and old parts and stuff. I'm going to be rebuilding a, uh, Windows 98 machine, uh, for Flight Simulator 2000. Because I can't... St VMware is not going to cut it. PC emulator is not going to cut it. Uh, Windows 7 is not going to cut it because either the 3D acceleration doesn't work or the add-ons don't work, etc., etc. So really the best way... Um, the best way to get the most out of Flight Sim 2020 is to actually build a uh, retro machine. And I have a couple of motherboards that I think are going to work out really well. I've got one that's got ISA slots, PCI, and an AGP slot. So that one I can actually I can actually install DOS 6.2.2 and Windows 3.1 on that. Um, and I believe I can install all the way up to XP, which I'm not. I got better I got better boards for that. Um, but I'm hoping, crossing my fingers with that one that I might be able to uh, play some booter games, uh, old boot games from uh, during the IBM days. So, for example, Flight Simulator 2 was a boot, was a disc boot game. Um, if I'm able to do it on that motherboard, because it is a PC AT board, uh, it's not from IBM. It's a it's a tie-in board, a tie-in board, um, but the the configuration is AT. So it won't even fit in a modern day case, but if I can get that to work, um, I can get some better videos out uh, for the Flight Simulator 2 series um, on the Killer TV channel. <laughs> Free DOS. That is me. Yep. Killer Gamer, aka Von Shep. That is me. I go by both names. I use uh, Von Shep for like when I do my music and stuff. And then I've got uh, my little rambling series that I have called Shep Rambles on Killer TV. So I do like a variety of different types of news uh, and updates. I'll do like a channel update. Um, I'll do news stories like I did a news story on Flight Simulator 2020. Um, I try to find bits of them, you know, things that are interesting, like uh, articles that I come across that I find interesting. Um, I, st I stay away from the, the, the politics and the drama and stuff that's going on. Like, the stuff that's been going on with, uh, like, Twitch and, what is it, Dr. Disrespectful, and I just, I haven't touched on any of that stuff, um, because I really don't want to get into the middle of it, and there's plenty of other channels that do that, do that stuff, um, so I'm trying to do something different. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm trying to offer something different for people. Yeah, I I completely agree with you. Um, people believe what they believe. Um, I respect them for their beliefs, and and just you know leave leave it at that. get some furnaces over here. That would be useful. Okay, we'll take half of that, put that in there. Half of that, put that in there. I don't think I can make stairs with nether rack. I think I have to smelt it. Yep. Alright, we're going to get ourselves some nether brick here. No, I don't think so. I haven't really had any problems with the map. Maybe in this one. I did a lot of traveling in this since I updated from... Uh, it was last on 1.14. Um, I haven't played it since 1.14, and I barely played it. Uh, but I didn't see any problems with the map. But I have to say, one thing that's wonky is that I have traveled as far as I did in the nether, and I've not hit another biome. Uh, whereas on this other series that I have over on Killer TV, um, the episodes haven't aired yet. Uh, but it's it's corner to corner is what it's called. So I'm traveling from 30 million on the positive X and Z axis to 30 million on the negative X and Z axis, which, yeah, I know that's impossible. Uh, but any form of travel goes. So it's just it's just vanilla. So horses, boats um, going through the nether. Uh, all of that, all of that is, is fair game. Um, and that one's got all the biomes and stuff in it. So those episodes will pr probably won't show for the next few months, but. No, I mean, this is definitely old style biome here. Um, even because although it's updated here where it says waste, nether waste, it used to say hell. <laughs> this was this was the biome called hell. Uh, that's at least updated, but um, like all everything still looks the same. I should have hit a new biome by now. I should have hit something. The new mobs are in here. They're in here, but um, unless I'm that unlucky. <laughs> like I said, this this is an old gen, but you know that shouldn't matter. Because everything that I'm digging digging through here, I have not been here before. So technically, it should take whatever I have and start generating new stuff. I mean, you can take a world starting with alpha, take it into beta, and 
you can literally, t and I've done it, you can take a world that, that was made in alpha and bring it all the way up into 1.16. Um, and the original area that was made in alpha will still be there. Um, of course, after that, it really looks kind of weird because then you get this cliff that's like this. <laughs> And then it's like all the new stuff. How big was my original world? That's the same size as it is now. Or, yeah, I think it's the same size. It, you know, I might be down low. I'm at block 54. Which means I'm at, you know, if I were to dig down, oh, you know what? If I'm not seeing any, if I'm not seeing any of the new biomes, I don't think I'm going to find that new, those ancient debris. The ancient debris where I can change my uh, diamond armor. Oh, that sucks. I was kind of hoping to do that. I'm going to put a place to put my nether portal. We're going to put it right here. that no lava falls down here because that would be quite upsetting. This is Chroma Hills. This is like my goat. This one and Faithful are the two uh, texture packs I use the most. I have an idea. <laughs> We're going to put that right behind the nether portal. <laughs> That's going to be kind of cool. Misa, that does sound familiar. I might have that one. Oh, this is definitely not the new block look. Um, although I do, here I'll show you. Whoops, wrong one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Options, resource packs. Okay, so I have my own music, or my own resource pack that I created that adds us. Uh, uh, a lot more C418's music from his other albums. But here's Chroma Hills. I had to mod it to get it to work on 1.16 because they don't have an official version released yet. Um, and then Faithful, which I use the Faithful one a lot. Um, I have that underneath so that way anything not done by Chroma Hills is done by Faithful. So, And then the... Um, the shader that I use is CUDA shaders, although I do have Continuum 2.1 Alpha. I, um, I recently uh, paid for that to support them. And this is actually really good, um, although some things are a bit too bright, like the lava is way too bright. But the CUDA always, I don't know, I always go back to CUDA. 
Continuum 1.3 um, I like. 2.0.3 I don't like. Um, also, too, I've got... I also have the Stratum. The, the, the Stratum ones. I went ahead and, and uh, got that from their site. Heck, you know, it was only like $15. And, you know, for those of us who... Um, play flight simulator we spent a lot more money than that <laughs> so 15 bucks for uh to get early access to a resource pack and a uh, shader is like a like a drop in the bucket <laughs> it was it was no thing i mean compared to you know spending 80 to 120 dollars or something for you know an aircraft so <laughs> wasn't that big of a deal <laughs> Where are we on the... We're at 582. I mean, we're not doing too bad. This is going to be a nice break point, though, for... To be able to go back into the overworld for a little... Just to get supplies. Now you're going to see just how far I came. Well, that's not it. Ah, okay. Let's... Uh, excuse me, let's build a staircase. I still prefer to build stuff this way. Um, as opposed to open opening the book. <laughs> I'm more old old school. I like I like doing it that way. If you want to go really old school, you got to try out Alpha. Play the old Alpha version. I've got a series on Alpha as well um, over on Killer TV. Alpha, Alpha is like a whole new experience. It's like a whole different type of experience. I mean, it's still Minecraft, but it's like Minecraft back in its innocence. Kind of. You know, before the nether, before all the biomes. You had to be kind of creative on what you built. <laughs> 1.6. That was a popular version, too. 1.6. Um, I know there, like, there were some servers that refused to upgrade from 1.6, if I remember correctly. And of course, 1.9 was the combat update, and a lot of people didn't like that. I was fine with the combat update. Because um, it... Uh, it made it a little bit more challenging for a single player. Now, do you see this? This is just like the old nether right here. So, I mean, I don't think the new biomes are generating in this world. And that's a gas. We'll just, like, avoid that. <laughs> it's got the new music, though. I got those two cobblestone stairs here. Let's make use of it. Yeah, there's my other crafting table. Alright, here's the first nether portal that I built here. 
because I went into the overworld here. See, it came into the nether because I came to a spot that had like a, a forest that would have made things uh, a little bit difficult. So that's why I went into the nether to do traveling. Arrow! How are you? Yep. Yep, we know about the date. I did a video about it over on Killer TV. I found out about it today and I knew I just had to get a video out on it. I knew that was important news. Yeah, so I've got some repairing that I need to do for my i7 computer. I gotta get on the ball and, and get that fixed because um, I know people are going to want to see the new flight sim. And not just on the YouTube channel, but over here on Twitch as well. my there's four where's my other one at oh my one of my obsidians is gone oh that won't do No, I don't. Th I haven't seen a screenshot of it. I took screenshots of the real planes, and when I went over the list of planes um, in my video, I showed all the different planes, like the real versions of the planes. Um, I was curious. I wanted to see what all the planes were, and I figured, you know, the viewers would want to see that as well. There we go, there's all ten of my obsidian. Let's go back over here, we'll build that nether portal. Yeah, that's the thing I'm wondering about too, you know. We we you know how companies are with screenshots, they're always going to show you the best parts. But not necessarily the parts that 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 you want to see. <laughs> I really want Meg's airport to be in it, but I know it won't be. Or at least some type of toggle switch where if people want the realism because Meg's isn't there, you know, great. But for those of us that want to fly out of Meg's, 
Yeah, I really, I really want Megs to be there. Well, if there's lots of bugs, then that could be quite disturbing uh, if they're going to be releasing it in a few weeks. That looks cool. <laughs> that looks cool if I say so myself. There's a zombie over there. Interesting. So we're, at, we're on the edge of an ocean, it looks like. Yep, and wouldn't you know, in that direction is the way we're supposed to go. Is there a village nearby? There's this weird thing. It's McDonald's! <laughs> Of course, the sun is going down. What is that? Oh, I think that's a shipwreck over there. I think that's a broken nether portal right over there. Okay, let's not look in the direction of um, the Enderman. Whoop. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what's up is I'm not looking at you. That's what's up. Um, maybe, maybe we should block this off. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. And torches! That would be a good thing as well. Let's light this up. Although there's really no type of resources or anything here to really get. I can get sand. <laughs> Make glass. Huh, interesting. I really hope the ATC is going to be good. I mean, I heard, you know, I heard bits of it, but... It, I mean, yeah, it sounds good, but in practice, is it really good? It'll be better than X-Plane, that's for sure.
Although, one thing that we were talking about earlier, Arrow, was in regards to VATSIM. Are they going to open it up to VATSIM? Because if they don't, if they're only keeping it multiplayer within like Microsoft servers, that's going to be a turnoff for people. You know, especially those that, that you know, they want to play online with real people with, uh, you know, actual controllers and stuff. I hope Microsoft is smart enough to not try to replace VATSIM because VATSIM has been around for a long time. If they allow development, um, J. Mike was saying, of course, it's it's just a rumor, but that they were only going to allow development in-house and like third-party developers. Um, hopefully, that's not the case, but. Someone sent me a message. Oh my goodness, I got another person. Wow! I just started posting videos on TikTok today. And I've gotten, I don't know, like 10 followers already. because of my cat <laughs> it's because of my cat that's why I'm going to go on a limb and say that I have faith in this team because they've had plenty of time to watch how the community has been um, all this time. I appear to be lost here. This is not the way. Is it up there? No. <laughs> I can't find my way back. I lit that. But where did I come from? Oh my, my oh my oh my. I lost my way. This is not good. It's not up this way. Oh my word, I can't believe I... I can't believe I lost my way. I remember putting this down. 
I should try digging through here and see what I can find. Whoa. Okay, that freaked me out there for a moment. For a moment I thought I fell through a hole. Yeah, I know. But I thought they were only using a very basic part of the code. Like, may maybe like where everything is placed or something? I'm lost. Help, Mommy, I'm lost. Yeah, you're kind of in my way there. Is this it? Nope. <laughs> this was definitely not the way. Oh, the AFCAD of the airports. Well, the AFCADs were out of date. I can't believe I'm lost. Yeah, I built this wall. I was going this direction. But I was coming from the south. But this is all dark. This doesn't make any sense. Ah, but that makes sense. Okay, I found I found where I left off. been able to find my way back.
Now, X-Plane is not going to roll over and die. Think about how long they've been around. They've been a lot... They, as far as a competitor, they've been around... Uh, since the early days where all the other competitors failed. So yeah, I don't, I don't, they're not going to go anywhere. So this is where we left off. So I need to grab all my stuff and start taking it with me. So yeah, when we when we stopped off, um, yeah, the way that I have to go to get home is in that direction, through all the trees and and stuff. And I've been trying to lay out a trail back to some settlements that I've been making. But if you take a look at the coordinates, I'm at six thousand in the X and negative one hundred twenty five thousand on the Z, and I'm trying to get back somewhere around zero zero which is where I built my very very first original base here's my diamond armor I had taken my diamond armor off because it seriously needs to be repaired this stuff. Another rack. I guess I can take that with me. I don't need those. I'll be able to get plenty of those. I'll take the sweet berries with me. And the apples. I don't need all this stuff though. Although you know what? Maybe I should because I can... I got dirt. I can plant this stuff over there in the desert. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a place for my bed. I need to take that with me, too. What else can I get rid of? There we go. I, yeah, six blocks in the other rack. We can get rid of that. Where's my axe? Oh, I left my axe. Yeah, they both do have their pros and cons. That's why I like flying all the different simulators. I don't have a, I don't have one favorite over another. Um, I like them all for uh, different reasons. No, and that includes all the old ones too. <laughs> Every single time that happens, it always makes me jump. <laughs> I'm like going down a deep, dark tunnel and I hear this BOOM! <laughs> I 
thank you for giving out that sub. That's really awesome. You missed all the excitement uh, towards the beginning of the stream. I had a, a gas shoot at me, which is why there's fire all over the place and why I built a wall. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we do have a good community for Flight Simulator. Um, I've seen some other streamers and... And I like, I like what they have going. That sounds familiar. The Lady Flyer sounds familiar. I know there's been fraud where someone will make a donation donation to someone and then they charge it back. So I don't know if that's the type of fraud that you're talking about. Very, very uncool, but I've read about stuff like that. I think I put my portal over here. Yeah, yay! Except I won't be able to build another portal. <laughs> I'll have to tear down the other portal. I don't want to do that. There's no gas flying in here. two of them. I need my... Oh man, I don't have a whole lot of stone. Build with another rack. <laughs> oh, I could do that. I could make bricks with it. Have to pick it up first. I 
cat. <laughs> Oh, wow. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of someone that like takes a picture out of like a picture frame, you know, that you buy from a store and then like tries to pretend it's them. <laughs> I briefly looked at that Enderman. I may have to go back and get more obsidian. What was their motivation though? I gotta wonder. You know, if they're give if they're gifting out a whole bunch of subs, what was their motivation? I mean, there's one thing about being generous. Generosity is one thing, but if they're trying to draw attention to themselves for being something that they're not, or is that how they were trying to get attention by gifting all the subs? I don't know. You know, it's kinda like um, I'll give you money if you be my friend. <laughs> do, you, do you think it was anything like that? I'm, I'm just trying to make some sense out of it. Is it daylight yet? That's a new sound.
I'm building a a brick house. <laughs> I'm building a brick house. <laughs> it's mighty mighty. <laughs> That's a new sound effect. I almost got this thing filled up. Now I just need to get it on the other side here. There's a spider over there. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to go to the other side, not over here. Oh, that's why. There we go! I've built my house sort of kind of upon the rock. <laughs> Some of it's built on the sand. <laughs> Well, I'm getting more iron. A little bit more. Not much more. What I need to do is I need to make glass. Hey, more iron.
I can't remember if I've ever seen Haley's Comet or not. Look at this, I'm getting all fancy now. <laughs> I'm making my brick house. Quite sure why I put those there, because I should explore around this island. Let's go make glass. Oh, I don't need sandstone. Use a door. That spider's bothering me. I could put a door right here. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Hey, you. All right, so what can we find? Oh, you know what? Is that a, is that? Oh, no, maybe that's just dirt. I thought there was another, an unfinished nether pour, but maybe, no, that's just dirt. But that is, that's got a bl uh, block of gold over there too.
Which shader am I using? <laughs> My hidey hole. I am using CUDA, but I'll show you the different shaders that I've got. Da -da -da -da. So yeah, I'm using CUDA shaders. I I always tend to go back to this one because it's the one that I that looks the best to me. Um, but Continuum 1.3 looks good. I don't like 2.0. Uh, the alpha build of 2.1, uh, which I think is like a $10 uh, uh, thing, is, is actually not bad, but the lava is like so bright um, that you can't even see any definition with it, so. And plus it's a little harsh on an i5, which is what I have. At the moment. Well, I'm not going to get a whole lot of a city in here. Oh, but there is lava. And that can be turned into something else. I think all the lava's gone. Yep. Let's not step on the other stuff. Oh, the sun is going down. Of course it's going down. Yeah, GTX 760. I still have the box. <laughs> uh, but I am going to be getting myself a new graphics card soon. Uh, because with the announcement of Flight Sim 2020, I've got some motivation to get my i7 fixed. So I'm going to be getting a new graphics card for that. I'm really not that far off of getting my i7 fixed. I just need to get a cooler on it. I mean, I've, I've been... Ooh. Well, I wasn't expecting to see a chest. Ooh, a golden boots with mending? Well, that's cool. Iron nuggets. Fire charge. Ooh. What is that? A golden shovel? Huh. <laughs> Well, that's different. And we might want to head back to our base. And hopefully I didn't get lost. I think it was over here. Yeah, I remember the... Um... Here, let's put some lights out. Yeah, here's my hidey ho. Hidey ho! Where is the door? <laughs> Where did I put my door at? Right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why X Plane dumped me off of that sim. Exactly. No, I can play X, X Plane Eleven. Um, I can get. I mean, I've got some okay. I mean, frame rates with it. I mean, I've done some cinematics over on uh, YouTube. That sim, on the other hand, um, yeah, that just booted me off. Oh, 
I'll put some glass right there. And some glass right there. And there. And there. Little, let a little bit of natural light come in here. Yeah, that surprises me too about the uh, 60 frames per second. I mean, standard video is 30 frames per second. Heck, film is 24 frames per second. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We were going to get the rest of that obsidian. Let's go do that. And let's mark where my door is at. Oh yeah, I've got to get that block of gold up there. I think my eventual setup is I would want to game on one and stream on the other. So, like, take the gaming stuff, feed it through the streaming one. Although, I wonder if that would take the quality down. Because you're, you're, you're degrading the, the video signal. Um, when I get my Windows 98 machine built, um, I'll need to do that. Yeah, you know, I'll have to output the signal through VGA into um, like HDMI. There's connectors for it. I've been able to find them. Yeah, I probably could do HDMI. I mean, my current graphics card has got HDMI on it. So it's it's not that out of date. <laughs> but you know, I've had this graphics card for years and it's it's actually it's served me quite well. You know, only now it's beginning to show its age because of you know, the more add-ons and stuff that I get, you know, the more that it's struggling. Well, that's good to know. Ooh, I got 16 obsidian. Not bad. Let's just keep going here. I should take these magma blocks with me. 
they're awesome for decoration. That's the Cryon Obsidian there. That's that new Cryon Obsidian. That's what you use to um, do your spawn point or something in the nether. Which... Oh no, I don't have room. I don't need an eye, that's for sure. The funny thing is that the i5 computer was originally my wife's computer. <laughs> she really wasn't using it, so... I mean, we have the same motherboard. So I, when my i7 died, I just basically moved my hard drives over. And she wasn't really doing anything with the computer anyway. And... She knew I was doing a lot of video work and stuff, so... With all these computers, I think I'm going to short out the house. some of those blocks too. Oh, nope, not those. Let's go up here. Let's take let's get a look see up here. Ah, there's the desert temple. Any villages? I have not found one village yet in this world. Not one. <laughs> I have not come across a village yet. I know there's got to be one. Well, I definitely have enough obsidian for our trip, so... I guess we'll keep... Keep digging in that direction! That's where the compass is pointing. Ooh. That's a long ways down. Let's go around this way. Have any of you had to deal with the phantoms? The phantoms that fly around outside when you don't sleep? Those things are nasty. Which socket does it have? I don't remember. I think it's a fifth generation that I have. It's either a fifth or a sixth generation. I could probably tell you, I think I got the replacement. Uh, 
Let's see. Let me pull up. history on eBay here. So I believe I got the replacement on here. Oh really? Maybe I got it off of Amazon. I was pretty sure that I got it off of Amazon. I might still have the box sitting over here. Maybe. <laughs> well, no, that's not the box. Oh, well, you know what? Here it is right here. Black edition. It's a gigabyte. Uh, motherboard. This should say uh, what the processor is. It's 2014. So there you go. It's six years ago. Installing the CPU. Page 13. Specs are right here. Support for Windows 8, 8 and 7. CPU, support for Intel Core i7 processor, i5, i3. Okay, this is LGA 1150. Uh, Intel, okay, that the Intel Z97 Express chipset. So, yeah, it's the LGA one. I remember that. I should probably take this with me. Well, that didn't work the way that I thought. <laughs> Two sticks. Do I really need another door? Oh, you mean on Flight Simulator 2020, I can't use 6, 7, 8th, and 9th? It's got to be a later... Uh... Well, if that's the case, I won't be getting uh, Flight Simulator 2020 anytime soon. Oh, I know the socket's not compatible with them, but... So you're saying my i7 will not be fast enough? Okay. 
I mean, I, I know that those, I know those processors won't be compatible with that. I know that. I've already got a new processor for it. I just need to get the fan on. The fan is one of those big honking. You know these things right here? They're a pain in the butt to install. That's why I hadn't done it. Because <laughs> I did it once before, and then I had to take it off. It was a pain, pain in the neck. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to change the CPU. I've already got an i7. I don't need to change it. Um, if I was going to change uh, to, I would get like the latest i9 processor with um, with, a, with a new motherboard. But yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to afford to, to do all that. I've already, I've already got the motherboard. I've already got the processor. Heck, I've ev I've even already got the memory and stuff. All all I need to do is just get the cooler hooked back up, get some new hard drives, because I got to reinstall everything without taking down this current computer. Um, and then I'm well, oh, and then the graphics card, and then I'm I'm up and running. Oh, that was kind of weird. Ooh. That was wicked the way that did that. Huh. I could have taken care of this long ago, but... Ooh. I'm just, I'm just like, really focused on my, on my videos. What do I do with crying obsidian? I have no idea what to do with that. I guess I'll just put it in here for the time being. I thought I'd just right click on it, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, so my graphics card is al almost meets the specs. I'm sure my 760 will probably, I mean, it's close enough to the 770, it probably would work. I do have a stone shovel. <laughs> Didn't think I had one. Fire charge. That's got to be useful somewhere. The golden shovel. Well, that's not really useful. The golden boots with mending. I've got golden boots actually. Now I got better golden boots. <laughs> Uh, 10 frames per second. I've done worse. <laughs> I've done worse.
let's keep building this direction. This is the direction we still need to go. 584 more blocks this, this direction. Let's not hit a lava block. I would not be happy about that. See, I can put these cool looking blocks right here. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm going to be rebuilding a Windows 98 machine. Do you think that might work on uh, Flight Simulator 2000? 20? <laughs> 20. 20. It's actually it's being built for Flight Simulator 2000, but yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, that is just trippy. <laughs> hey, there are people who sw still swear by Windows 98. Hey, for the time, it was a good, really good operating system. And then Windows XP came out, changed the world. <laughs> Of course, there is Windows Me. I skipped that one. <laughs> I had a dual boot system of Windows 98 and Windows XP. So, like, I had, you know, my old games that, you know, would work. That I was still able to get to work. And then I had the, uh, the Windows XP going. That was probably one of my most used do boot systems was going back and forth between Windows 98 and Windows XP because I, I still could play all the 16-bit uh, games, the DOS games, uh, and then the 32-bit with XP, you know, I was able to play the, you know, more newer stuff at the time. I have 7 and 10. I have a dual boot. I kept getting these nags from Microsoft to upgrade. And I looked up on how to get that turned off. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't need to upgrade. I already have Windows 10. It's on another, it's on another partition. Leave me alone. <laughs> I have Windows 7 for a reason. Just like I have Windows 10 for a reason. I thought that's what he meant. I thought he meant the office. <laughs> well, here, the, there is the original BBC version.
I like Doctor Who also uh, until this last season. <laughs> until that series finale, um, I or the season finale, I did not like that one bit. Oh no way. They the they changed uh established um established lore. That that was a no go for me. To me the first doctor is William Hartnell and will always be William Hartnell. There would not be a Doctor Who if it wasn't for him. And so I thought the little stunt that they played was just not cool. Yeah, I didn't care for it. There was only one episode that I liked from the last season. And that was the one with Nikola Tesla. I, that episode I really liked. One, it had, it had the actor from Timeless in it, which I really liked Timeless. Um, but it also, it felt like a classic Doctor Who story, you know, it was, they went back to the past, it had a bit of a, you know, history thing with it. That one felt like a Doctor Who episode. I don't know what the rest of it felt like. I just, I don't know, I just wasn't really a fan out of, and I, I, I gave, I gave this Doctor a chance. The first season I actually liked because it was different. But, I don't know, some, this, the second one just didn't sit right with me. Yeah, exactly. I don't like the retconning at all. And they're doing, they're doing all this retconning of stuff. Like, I don't like what they did with Star Wars trying to retcon all the stuff. Um, sorry, the chosen one is Anakin Skywalker. It ha it will always be Anakin Skywalker. It's not Mary Sue Ray, that's for sure. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker was nah, it was okay. It was definitely better than The Last Jedi. Um, but the thing about the sequel trilogy is that it's not memorable at all. I mean, episodes one through six, I could rewatch those. I, you know, I love them. I, the prequels, the original trilogy, I can watch them more than once, several times. The sequel trilogy, I could care less about. It's like I saw them once, I don't want to see them again. <laughs> Seven, yeah, seven was okay. It was it was basically the original Star Wars told all over again, but I saw it as it was trying to lay the groundwork for something new. Um, and well, that didn't. What did we get after that? We got the Last Jedi, <laughs> and the Last Jedi actually had promise. I thought it had promise because it was going a different direction. They just didn't take it far enough. I thought I thought Ray was going to turn to the dark side and maybe Kylo Ren would go to the go to the light side and he would have to redeem her or something like that, but they never did it. They never they never took it that extra step. It's like it's like they went up to the line, but they didn't you know they played it safe. And... Of course, I don't like what they did to Luke. I don't... Not hardly... I don't think anyone does. Animated original script? No. I've heard about what Lucas originally had in mind for the sequel trilogy. 
about the wills, which I think would have been great because I think his idea would have tied the whole, all nine movies together. Now I know there, I know on YouTube there's an animated uh, version of the the Thrawn uh, trilogy, um, Shadows of the Empire. Someone's doing an animated animation of Shadows of the Empire, which before the prequel trilogy, the the uh, th uh, the Timothy Zahn books were. We're very much like a sequel trilogy to me. Just reading them felt like watching a Star Wars movie. <laughs> a vanishing bionic force arm. <laughs> The guy that did the uh, voice for Anakin Skywalker in the Clone Wars is also the same actor that was in Timeless, the time traveling series. How far did I go here? 481. I'm getting closer. <laughs> no problem, John. I probably should do the same thing myself. <laughs> Oh, the original version of, of Episode 9. That's what you're talking about. The one where Lucas had a lot of... Uh, had a lot of scenes that he was working on that they all cut out. That's what you're referring to. I have to look that up. I'm curious about that. I'm curious what... Um, what Lucas was planning... Ooh, wood? No, I don't want that. Oh, man, I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any stone. I need to get stone. And I don't have any more flint, either. Hmm... Yeah, I'll definitely take a look at that. I'm really interested. Why did I come here? <laughs> what was I doing? I need stone. That's what I need. Oh no, did I break my... Oh no. 
I had broken my iron pickaxe too, apparently. Well, that wasn't good. I hear lava. Where is that lava coming from? Alright, I think I've got enough to make my stone... My stone pickaxes. Well, oh, I do have two there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking that out. Because I heard... I I heard... That I didn't hear about the animated thing, but you know, I knew that there was something else that... That was supposed to be done, and... We got something else instead. Okay, this does have the other biomes in it. I'm just, I'm just too low because this one says the warped forest. But of course I don't see a warped forest. That's because we're sitting, we're lower. We're low, I mean, I think that was, I think that's what J. Mike was saying, I think. We're too low. No wonder we can't find anything. <laughs> no wonder we're not seeing the other biomes. Oh, it was you. Okay. I couldn't remember. That's why. Yep. I can be forgetful. <laughs> it comes with age. Oh, we got something out here. I'm seeing some stuff right over there. <laughs> Toys R Us kid, yeah. Man, that was the fun thing. Going to the toy store and actually being able to... Touch... Uh, Actually, I look at stuff and 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 touch it. Can't can't really do that now. Yeah, so we uh we got the whole new biome right here. Yay! I wasn't sure if we would see it in this world, but we did. And there's a lot of Endermen. <laughs>
Hey. <laughs> hmm. Trying to light my way here. Well, whatever you're selling, Mr. Enderman, I don't want it. <laughs> Hi, no. I do not want to look at you, Mr. Enderman. I'm good. I'm good right here. There. Put one there. And one there. Cool. Now I can get some... Some of that new wood. There's some of those uh, globe things and a big hole, apparently. We'll need to fill that up. That's what's up. Try not to fall into the hole. That might be a good idea. Make a bit of a bridge here. Glowstone over there, I might be able to get to. I love these these new things right there. You bet. Thank you for uh, your generosity in regards to the uh, subs. That's uh, very kind of you. I I appreciate that. And glad, glad, glad to see you again, too. I should probably call it a night also. <laughs> I've been playing a little long. I made a lot of progress, though. Hi. Hey. Hey. Look at that, 446 blocks. I only need to go 400 more blocks that direction. I still got a long ways to go, but... stuff up there too yeah definitely a, a good spot that we can stop at let's get some of this wood so we can start building a do I need to use a shovel where is my shovel Oh, there it is. I guess it doesn't matter what I use.
What is this stuff? Warped wart block. I think you can do something with it. of all kinds of good material here. This is like the upside down <laughs> from Stranger Things. Oh. Get all this wood here. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> Lava that direction. Though it, nope. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe we can go around it. No, we cannot go around it. I'll just take that. Thank you very much. I am gonna wind up falling down that hole. Ah. Yeah, that is good news. Well, I'm sure PMDG's got to be in there. Like I can keep. Ugh. I sure hope that thing wasn't attacking. Oh, 
Well, it looks like I can keep traveling in this direction. Three hundred and ninety six blocks. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we'll have to start digging again here. Yeah. So this would be a good place to set up a new house. I think that's what we'll do as I'll be bringing all my stuff over here. Oh, marketing. Okay. Well, that makes sense because that was the first thing that I thought of was like, those are all markets. They're stores. I don't like being this close to an edge. Come over here. I can build a wall right here. I like that idea. thinking I went a, f a far ways away, but I really didn't. Although it'll seem that way inside the nether, that's for sure. Thanks. What do we do with warped warp blocks? Can we smelt them? Nope. <laughs> I don't know what we can do with those. got glass and everything. Orbix makes sense. Got 
a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to carry with me. can use the wood from the nether to make stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Can I make a... Uh... Yes, you can. <laughs> can I make a chest out of it, too? Yep. Now, they need to change this to where when you make a... Uh... A chest out of warped planks or whatever that, you know, it changes the color of them. Uh, I like to see them with different colors. Oh, an in game store. That'll be fun. Always gotta love that. Not one of my favorite things. I had to deactivate that in the Sims game, so. Like when I go to the catalog to get something, I'm not being said, oh, you can buy this from the store. Oh, my word. Alrighty, my friend. I think we need to call it, call it a night. <laughs> <laughs>